Cloud security versus cybersecurity is one of the topic. Uh, it's keep coming back and all the time. I don't see people really realize what's the difference basically. So I'll try my best to give you good enough information which directly help you understand whether you are thinking of as a career or whether you are building your security practices. Same concept are applicable. I'll keep it high level. I kill, I'll keep it short, straight to the point. And this is where you can get a better idea. So I'm going to pull up a new browser and walk you through some of the stuff. But at the same time, uh, when we uh, talk, I will give you good that uh, insights. So again, cybersecurity is nothing new. Everybody knows about it, but uh, for cybersecurity concepts, people are in the industry for so many years. Uh, systems, so network, routers, switches, nothing new. Load balancer, firewall are all the concept. And if you look it up, that pretty much. And uh, vulnerability scanning, management, patching, um, running the tools, Wireshark, Nessus, and Map, and the list goes on. Those are there pretty much uh, cybersecurity when we talk about, and also when we think of a cybersecurity, we think of somebody in a hoodie and trying to hack a system, and that's what cybersecurity is all about. Again, that's pretty much in a nutshell the, the way that somebody can think of uh, what a cybersecurity profession is look like, but there's a lot to do that. So that's only one of them. When it comes to cloud security also, I'm gonna talk about it. And before when I get uh, into that, I will uh, ask uh, ChatGPT what it has to say because I will not say finding some good uh, results. So I wanted to show you why I think those results are not good and what I'll try my best to help you understand what are what is the difference uh, between cyber security and uh, cloud security and let it fix the typos because. Um, I always make typos. So again, as you can see on the screen, it's talking about security, cyber security. The scope is that um, includes uh, securing on-premises system, basically, right? In a nutshell, uh, it's, it's on-prem, I mean, uh, definition-wise, because um, things change when you bring the cloud. So it's not a cyber security anymore, in my opinion. Whenever you have a hybrid environment, it becomes cloud. So whether you are running AWS, GCP, or Azure, and uh, most common example is companies using Microsoft 365 for email and they have on-premises Active Directory that becomes a hybrid environment. And that's where the difference is. It becomes a cloud security because now all your mailbox and everything, Teams, data, OneDrive is in the cloud. Even when you're doing the authentication, most of the time it happens in the cloud environment. So you have to look for the controls and skill set in that. So that's, I kind of give an idea of what cloud security or is that, right? So basically you got to have a cloud first. Without having a cloud, you cannot have cloud security, which is obvious. So you, your company running for the last 20 years, a pharmaceutical here in New Jersey, running out of a data center, now they decided to move to the cloud. And the first thing they might have adopted is maybe a Salesforce or Microsoft 365, which is in the cloud and that introduce a cloud workload. So introducing a new technology, all we know that, bringing new risk and security challenges and cloud happens to be one of those which we have seen over the past many years. Not only that, cloud security or cyber security is in the news, so many jobs and demand and everything, but we see, uh, you know, there are huge demand, there are hundreds of thousands of jobs all over the world or maybe millions of jobs. Why? Ask yourself why. If you go and do some research, you'll go back and find after 2014 and 16, there's a huge increase in cyber security or data security or data breaches. There are more hacking attempt, and there were more increase in the ransomware attack, right? Um, social engineering, phishing attack, it has gone quadruple or maybe even six or 10 times when we compare before cloud. So what does it mean? Mean cloud is not good? No, that's not the reason. Cloud may be not secure. Yeah, by default, cloud is not secure. So that's why somebody go to the cloud, they have to plan. You cannot just move a VM to the cloud and think it's secure. No, that's even more dangerous and most likely it's gonna get hacked within, if not in a couple of hours, then within a couple of days. So there are bots running and they're gonna do it. And they scan the system. In a traditional cybersecurity environment, some on-premises, we have a data center and everybody has to go to the firewall. And then sometimes you have to do the VPN to access your network. 
in this cloud environment, if you were to work on a Word document on Excel sheet or Microsoft team, you just push your username and password and there you go. You are on Microsoft team. So basically this is what the significant difference or the one of the most common difference when it comes to uh, cloud security and cyber security. In cloud security, we are dealing with cloud environment. We are talking about identities. In on-premises, every request has to go to the firewall. So that's the difference. I'm not saying in the cloud environment there is no firewall, but Microsoft and uh, Azure or, or uh, GCP or these people, the infrastructure, the cloud service provider taking care of behind the scene. So you don't have any control on the firewall when it comes to uh, Microsoft uh, 365 or if you are a school using Google Workplace, you know, you don't get that. You just uh, you don't get hold of any of these. You just get user and password. You have your tenant. You create your user identities. You give mailboxes. You give everybody Zoom or Google Meet or Microsoft Teams access. Everybody they get um, a shared file storage in Microsoft. They have um, one uh, one drive. Otherwise, people use a Dropbox or one box. Uh, you know, uh, so many um, document sharing for things available in the cloud. So that itself also poses a risk. So I'll give you some examples, some use cases, so kind of even more to better understand what the cloud security is. For example, if your company moves to, let's not take a Microsoft example because I all the time give those. So let's take an example of if your company moves to Dropbox for file sharing and they have 50 people in the field and they share the document. So that's fine. That's increased the collaboration among the team. It's easy. You don't have to manage a file server on premises like a Windows Server or Linux. And it was very cumbersome and difficult for people to dial in and VPN and all that. But in the cloud, everybody can use their Gmail account and this is a, this is a consumer. But what if you deal with some data, which is like credit card data, uh, which could be some personal identifiable information, means it has information about somebody's name, uh, date of birth, home address, which most commonly the use case in real estate. For example, if you were to rent a house or buy a house, you need those information to do the background check and all that. So if you're dealing with that kind of data and you put in a Dropbox, guess what? If you do not have any of those security controls, you're in trouble. That data can be leaked because you have first, you have never thought about it. Plus you never thought about what kind of information is there. And is this really sensitive information? What if you lose that information for your thousands of customer you're putting somewhere in the cloud? How do you know it's protected? So in those cases, you need to think about and you need to think for a solution where you got to have the control that who has access to that. Does only these 50 people in the, your organization have access to the data or is it open to everybody? I've seen those scenarios. Uh, we've seen S3 bucket like this. So this is where it starts from. You need to put the control. Hey, only the people within my organization are supposed to have access to it. People should not be able to share this file outside this 50 people. If they were supposed to do it, then there has to be a different way and they cannot share all the information or the information, you know. So you have to have that governance process. You need to have security control around that. So you could have a governance process, but if you're not blocking it, that's not the point. So that's why you have to implement security control. So this is one of the problem statement. I'm not giving a solution here, but that only happens in the cloud. And that's why you need to have cloud security control. So let me share my screen again. And that falls into cloud security, which is, again, if did mention identity and access management is one of the control basically you need to learn. Uh, encryption, not directly, but it's just supposed to show you somewhere a data protection which is missing in the cloud security. So this is why uh, these tools, AI tools are good, but they are not perfect because they cannot give you all the information and every information you need to know and learn because simply it does not have that. But cloud security is basically saying here is, is, is the scope is SaaS, but it also required to be in PaaS platform as service and IaaS or infrastructure as a service, which means where if you are going to manage Windows Server, Linux Server, Windows machine, virtual machines, everything in that. So that's the infrastructure service, which kind of similar to your data center, but there you do not have any physical access. So that also falls under cloud security. And that's a whole different topic. I can put like hours and hours. I can speak to that. 
uh, that also goes back to the threats because threats in that cases are changed, are different, and that's what we have seen. So many breaches have happened, and if you look at most of those breaches for the large data where terabytes of data has been already stolen, are related to uh, one of the example common is S3 bucket. People go and put the data in the S3 bucket, and guess what? It was open to anonymous access. So this is one of the example. It could be any uh, storage bucket or any file storage, but that's one of the most common example we have seen. So this is where you need to implement the control, and that's why you need to understand cloud computing basic concepts, um, and then how can you implement these security controls? So security controls um, are all over the place. Like as I said, <clears throat> there are cybersecurity controls, but there is additional layer identity and access management did not exist before cloud. Uh, before cloud. It's a new security control you need it today. Uh, same thing, application security, DevSecOps, uh, software, you know, uh, Kubernetes. Uh, we are talking about serverless, Azure AKS Kubernetes. All those things are new. They did not exist before. So that's why cloud security is totally different compared to cybersecurity. People will say cloud security is part of cybersecurity. That's a different thing. I am not here to debate what it falls into, into or not. But if you are designing a solution, you are a consultant, advisor, business decision maker, this is how and what the difference is when it comes to cloud security. And you really have to develop your strategy based on that. Then it has in direct um, uh, connection, the indirect connection to so many technologies because uh, the list goes on. So that's the difference. And same thing applies for you if you wanted to build your career. There you go. You got to learn cloud computing skills and then look for cloud security certification accordingly. So that's in a nutshell. I wanted to explain the difference between two of these. But someone, if you're new, I wanted to add at the end of the video that if you're IT and you wanted to get into one of those, so you need to learn the fundamentals of IT first. To understand the basics, and then once you understand compute storage and all those things, this is where you can have a start into that. Again, don't look back and go back for the old old legacy skills in my opinion because company already have invested billions of dollars in the cloud and this is where the growth is if you want to plan your career for the next 10 years or so cloud is the way to go same thing with the company they have all these uh, cases i've seen people moving back from cloud to on-prem that's a different discussion but again there's a lot of thing happening in the cloud and guess what ai is one of those is Every company is spending the money. AI is not new. This has been existed for 20 years. Now AI is all of a sudden is in hype in the news. Companies are investing billions and even uh, uh, open AI CEO uh, Altman, Sam, Sam Altman, I guess. Um, he is talking about uh, putting a, a giving an estimate of trillions of dollars. Uh, for the AI, so if, if imagine if everybody's working on AI, like today everybody's talking about cloud, future is AI, so we need security skills in that area as well. So again, AI runs on cloud. AI existed before, but it never been a case for on-premises because on-premise infrastructure, infrastructure could not give enough GPUs and CPUs and infrastructure load, now everything in the cloud and a click of a button. We have so many startup doing the AI. We can literally create videos and all that stuff, right? So that's why, in my opinion, better spend your time and money in the cloud. It's a growth career. Your job will be in demand. Your skills will be in demand, and that's the way to go. Again, you don't have to agree with me. It's your call. I just wanted to give you enough information, whether it's career-wise or if you are making a decision in your, con uh, your company to implement this control. I hope fully I have covered both. Let me know in the comment what cloud do you have, what certification are you planning to pursue, and I'll see you in my next video, and thank you so much.